are you doing? Today, I would like to share with you how easy and the most effective way to propagate the lemon from the stem and also even you can use it the same like a lamb tree so this technique it will help and it's very very useful for those that sometimes you visit the friend house or relative house and then you find that certain like lamb leaf is very very nice fragrance it's different from what you have in the garden and you want to propagate it in the faster way than uh, use the seedling because this type of plants, if you use a seedling, it's going to take a very, very long time to grow. What I'm preparing here is just a cup. We want to start with how to select the branch or the stem that we are going to propagate. So let's follow me. We have here a very nice lemon tree. And how to select the branch that we want to propagate today. The most important that the branch should not be too young like this. This is too young. The shoot like this is definitely is too young. Okay. And what happened to this is too too old. Once too old like this or like this definitely cannot be used. Something like in the middle, something in the middle. I can compare this one and this one with you. The young one and in the middle and the old one. Okay. So something like this this is will be great for the project today. What you want to do is just you just cut cut out the stem like that. Something like that. Okay? And this is what we're gonna use. Uh, I gonna do a little bit more of this. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Um, this stem will be great. And this stem will be great. This time will be great too. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do with the other tree as well. This is the sun leaves, but it's a little bit unhealthy because previously not enough sunlight. What happening is this, this part, as I mentioned, will be too old. This one, but uh, this is this is okay. This is just nice. So I'm gonna cut this time also. Okay. Like, um, of course, this is too young, but this is just nice. I'm gonna take one of these as well. I think I'm gonna have one more. Just a pity, this one is uh, having uh, flowering. Flowering means fruit is gonna come out here, so I'm gonna leave it. Okay, I got it. Okay, all right then. Okay, we got all what we want here. <laughs> Let's start the project. All right, let's see what we have here. We have three of these and four of these. Okay, if you cut from somewhere and you need to travel, put it in the plastic bag, wrap it, spray some water, and keep it done. Get it direct sunlight, it will be okay to travel. And once you reach home, don't forget to do it, start to do it right away. So I want to show you how real simple and easy it is to doing this. Uh, we just thumb ourselves and see to get a number of this lemon tree to propagate it. How fast can it be? So again, I'm using piece moss and the piece moss normally I will just tie it nicely with the plastic bag because uh, if not, what will happen is that if you leave it too dry, it will be very difficult to again absorb the water. What I'm going to do is that I just fill this cup with the piece moss soil. About two inches, a little bit like that only. It's going to be real quick. And after that, you don't need to do anything about it. We keep on filling this up. I think I got it. Okay, we have all this what we need. The next step is that uh, we're going to use the water. You have the pocky to spray on it. Just use the pocky to spray on it. But um, I'm just doing this a very quick one. Don't need to be soaking wet. It's just the moist there. If it's too wet, it won't work. What we're going to do, the next step is that we're going to remove the leaf out. You, you don't want to have too many leaves. Uh, two leaves, two or three leaves is enough. 
uh, let's say we having two leaves here, you can even cut part of it. And if you leave it too many leaves, okay, when here cannot suck up enough water because don't have the root yet, the leaf will drop off by itself. So that it will remain only though they can work with themselves. So we will cut a little bit, uh, 45 degree, to increase the space for the root to grow. All you need to do is that you just poke this inside. I will keep on doing the rest of it first. Just like that and then I'm gonna trim this thorn out also. And cut it 45 degree like that. And just grow it. Okay? That's it. So easy. I cut again 45 degree and then I push it, push it in just like that. This is, uh, I think I leave it uh, three leaves, but I will trim the leaves a little bit, something like that. Okay, I already cut the 45 degree, I just push, push it in just like that. Okay, now turn for this. What we're gonna do, same thing, you choose a few leaves, the rest of the leaf, just trim it out. This is just nice, you know, sometimes your friends or the auntie, uncle, sometimes they will tell you, oh, my house, we don't have this, we don't have that for our kitchen use. You can just offer them and say, okay, let me handle that, please sit down, relax and wait for about three weeks. Everything will be okay. That's very easy and very simple. So this part, a little bit of too many leaves, I will need to trim a little bit more. Okay, you can cut the leaf into half, it's no damage, no harm done. So, wow, this is very nice frangan. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut here and push it inside like that. And one more, we have one more here. It's going to be a very nice and fun project with your kids also, if you have kids at home that want to learn on how to grow their own tree. So next, you might need to a little bit uh, tightening the soil, make it push, push the soil down a little bit. So we don't want the plants to keep moving. You see here, the leaf just about somewhere touching the, the leaf here. And also the water, the moist is just nicely moist. It's not soaking wet. You can, cannot see the side of the water that over uh, watering at all. So just enough moist is okay. Not too soaky because or else plant cannot get the oxygen. Alright, uh, what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna cover the lid. That's all. This is one, two, okay alright, as simple as that. So next thing is that you just place this in the cooling place a little bit. And no need to be direct sunlight, just leave it like that and don't touch it at all. Between two weeks to one month, you will have the better rooting system you can see from the out here, okay? You don't need to uh, open the lid to refill the water, anything at all. As long as you don't move or checking it around because this is the sensitive time that actually the plants will just start to growing the root that time if you're moving it too much. It's totally, it wouldn't work. And this is just an easy project for you to do. Anyhow, some may be asking whether can we use this technique, same thing with the seedling or not. Uh, in fact, you can. You can use a seedling, but uh, with the seedling, you need to be careful a little bit because certain certain types of plants, uh, those the big seedling like itself, uh, lemon seed or some of the very big and firm like uh, beans, cucumber, Lady finger, bang jaw, chili, those maybe it works. But once sometimes the, the seedling start to grow, you need to open the lid and take it out to the sunlight. Okay, because some of the certain certain seedling, if it's not enough sunlight, the it will stress out to looking for sun. And that is making the stem too long, too fragile. And instead of uh, their focus, to grow the leaves, to receive the sunlight, they grow out the stem instant. So, you can use for those a very big seedling, as I mentioned earlier, 
with this technique, it will save you a work for a few days until the seed is slowly started to grow, bring out to receive the sunlight also can and easy to transport let's say you need to do this for some of your friends that is uh, complaining that they don't have the green hands and they don't know how to uh, do the seedling you do it inside just a container like this when you want to uh, pass it to them just close it up put in the plastic bag and then just hang in front of their house so this will be very easy for you to do it all right let's see what will happen next for the next three weeks to one month we will keep updating you guys okay that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this video and we will be seeing you again next week. Kindly uh, share this video with your friends that interest in the gardening and kindly follow us. Give us a comment, drop in your questions. If you have any other questions that you might have in your gardens, when you do gardening as a home grow or even as a commercial because I do have the background on this area, might be able to help. And I will try to help if I cannot come up with the proper uh, information to, to reply. I will try to get help from the other as well. So drop your comments, drop your questions. I will be more than happy to communicate and then more than happy to help. Please kindly share the video and subscribe will be best. Good tips like this weekly in our My Oka Fresh channel. Thank you very much. Bye.